Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, yeah, my girl is here. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about this. Man, this is amazing. Ah. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tara. How are you? Hello, I am so good. Okay, first of all, your shirts are always amazing. Can we just well, like get, in, get into this for a second? Like, I love it. <laughs> I'm thinking about you and, and joy and the joy that you bring. So, you know, I got my hat. I actually want to send you a pair of these, if that's all right. I'd Just love that. <laughs> oh, my God. Does that literally say happy? It literally says happy. I mean, they're happy pants. So, you know, every little bit. But I'll get your address if that's cool. And just... Um, Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> we'll definitely exchange addresses because I'll have, I have something for you as well, but it's like, you know, just, I'm so, that is so, I need those happy pants, mainly because it's like, I feel like I walk around most of my days in happy pants, as do you, that's why you're so amazing and so inspiring and bring me so much joy since the first time I actually met you, which was like, probably like 12 years ago? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> long time a long time you remember that event it was at the um the london Ho was it the london hotel i think it was the was it the w or was it the it was standard it was the standard oh, yeah 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 okay <laughs> yeah it was the standard because you were like you were on their room key cards and stuff <laughs> yeah wasn't yeah. that something cool and i was like wait this is the no it was the w it was the w mm -hmm. i remember you doing that too oh my gosh tara like it is I mean, you've brought me like so even before I started teaching, you've been a teacher of mine, even though I don't think I've ever actually like, I, yeah, I took that one class at the hotel. But then other than that, like, just following your journey, I have your DVDs. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> young, young people out there for who don't know what DVDs are, they like small circular devices that dissipated some odd time ago, but your DVDs, your books, I mean, but you're just really cool. <laughs> so are you, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, you're so cool. You do so many amazing things. I'm loving the yoga tips of the day. They definitely oh, have been like grounding me. And so if y'all aren't sure who I'm talking to by now, <laughs> it's Tara Style. She's awesome. She's an OG in the game. And she um, is a founder of Strala Yoga. And then also just like, is a person who represents what yoga is, not just in the asanas, which is amazing, as we all know, but just like being yoga, period. So welcome to Live Thanks. Joy with A. Ah! <laughs> I, you know, I'm so excited to, 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 to get in your joy world with us. So thanks for having me. I feel, you know, I feel like I'm in the show of joy with you. So you really bring that. It's amazing. Thank you for all you're doing too. And uh, as far as you teaching yoga or not teaching yoga, you are spreading joy just by being yourself. I mean, even across your videos, your friends in your car yesterday hanging around. <laughs> Like, how often is it that you can look at somebody's Instagram story and actually feel better about yourself? And you do that for people, so thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, for real. It's like, we, that was so much. I was actually just on the phone with my friend right before we started, and I was telling him, I was like, I had the best day yesterday. And just, like, riding in the car with the boys to the beach. And um, one of my friends that I was with, Ronaldo, he was saying how his mom was telling him, because um, I asked everybody, like, we got ramen last night, and I was like, what was the most exciting part of your day today? And Ronaldo was like, when I talked to my mom, oh. and she told, I know, I was like, heart flutter, and she told me, you know, I told her what we were doing, and she was like, make sure you guys ride together, because the best experience is not necessarily on the destination, it's the journey there. And I was like, oh my god, I love your mom, so... My first question for you is, what are you most excited about today, Tara? 
Well, honestly, today, this is all about you. So <laughs> for me, I mean, I, I've been keeping it pretty simple lately in my life. So I mean, even in the last many years, so I just try to do one or two things a day and we did our yoga, but, but really this is super special getting to, to see you, to hang out, to talk with another person that's just excited to, to spread joy and be alive. So, so I'm excited for this. Our whole schedule is uh, revolved around this in a very good way. So Daisy and Mike are downstairs. I'm like, I'm going to go talk to my friend about happiness. And, and Daisy's <laughs> like, put on the rainbow socks too. So. <laughs> oh my so gosh. She has to dress me. So. Oh, well, you have your own in-house stylist. I love that. <laughs> you know, everybody gets involved. Oh my God, I love that so much. Well, thank you so much for being here. And I um, just kind of like over the last, like not even, I want to even say year, I want to even take it further back. Like that's why for some reason I was like, I didn't ask her if she wanted to talk about the evolution of yoga, but I feel like you were like one of the best person to talk about kind of the evolution of over the last, like from you really starting with the DVDs in the virtual space and not even probably no one saw last year coming, right? And so kind of how we've, how you took, you know, being in person to being putting it on tape and then also kind of how we've done that, how we've evolved to that space now. I mean, could you have possibly seen that coming when you first started practicing and teaching? Oh gosh, well, kind of, but not really at all. I mean, I remember my friends and the people that I knew that taught yoga were very protective of it almost. And I mm -hmm. felt, I mean, I guess I was a lot younger than a lot of my friends, I mean, kind of back then, at least my experience was a lot of people came to yoga after some life experience. And I was really lucky, just just silly luck to get into it in my teens. So I remember just thinking, why are we holding on to this? You know, in the studio, 90 minutes, the teacher, it just felt very, even though it was in a room, it just felt very, you know, cave-like to me. And I'm thinking, I love to just go out on the street and say, hey, let's do five minutes of yoga to like somebody you're waiting at the stop sign with. You know? <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah, oh, totally all the time. Just, you know, on just Amazing. wherever I was, you know, the, the guy who would ask for change on the corner, this guy, Chris, we became friends because he's like, oh, yeah, you're that yoga lady. Come on over. Let's do a few breathing stretches. You know, I give him, you know, 20 bucks at the end or whatever. So. But I always just, that's just my experience of yoga. And I think we share that too. Yeah. You know, it's really, it doesn't belong inside only. It belo it's inside, so it belongs everywhere. So when the internet happened, you know, I guess I just wasn't afraid of the internet, you know, growing up and, you know, just, just being my age or whatever. So it, when I saw YouTube, it just seems like, okay, there was only cat videos there. And, you know, there really wasn't any kind of instructional how to do anything. Yeah. And I really just thought, obviously everybody's going to do this, but yeah, you know, somebody has to start. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has to guide these people so they're not out here hurting themselves or like, you know, taking, and I love that you said, instead of it being in this like container, because in class today, I taught this morning, I said, you know, I was telling the story about how, okay, this guy liked my photo. <laughs> and then I was like that I, and then I went to his page and he's a friend of mine. And so I went to his page and I was like, oh, and I'm like scrolling. I was like, oh, fine, hot, good looking. Okay, I'm calling him on the way to my class, right? Unapologetic, I'm just putting it right out there on the internet right here, awesome. right now. Yeah, I said it, listen, shoot or shoot, okay? So shoot your shot. And so the thing is, I was like, and so I called him on the way and I was talking to him about like, you know, life, what's going on. And then I told class today, I said, y'all, I said, y'all have a significant other or anybody at home. I mean, just like be, let's, let's infuse more love today. Let's like put, let's like make it uncomfortable. If you have a roommate, just like be like, I love you every five <laughs> minutes with them, you know, like really get all up in their space. And like, obviously if it's a roommate situation, you want to make sure that they're like, you know, even if they're not having a good day, maybe even doing that. Because when I said that, a few people came up to me afterwards and was like, thank you so much. I'd been needing this like permission slip almost to be loving to other people around me because I feel so much love inside of myself. But some people seem that are around me seem really apprehensive and afraid of it. And I was like, just get uncomfortable with it. And if anybody gets weird because you're showing them love, like, 
show them more love and just make it let maybe make it five minutes instead of 10, you know, like, <laughs> you know, and so instead of it being in this container, like holding it all in, that's what we do as yogis on the mat. That's our job, right? Like if you're not, even if you're not teaching the class, you're still a yogi and you're still setting the tone for other people's day unbeknownst to you probably. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I always think about that. I mean, you know, how you stand in line at the grocery store, if you're standing, especially if you know better, you know, if you know a little bit of yoga, then you know better. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> you can stand kind of, you know, frustrated or tense or on your phone, or you can choose, you know, to do your method, which is just bend your knees, roll around and, you know, take good care of yourself. And then all of a sudden, the five people around you are in your yoga class, but you're not even teaching any yoga, they just feel better. And, yep. um, and that's such a great way for kind of everybody to be a guide of everybody else. I mean, we're all kind of infecting each other with our, our, our energy anyway, if we're tense, if we're open, however we are. So I just love that you, you've naturally just done that probably your whole life. Just yeah. like, been, like forever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, and it was, yeah, it's funny. I, I've naturally been like that most of my life where I'm just kind of like, hey, let's just have a good time. Won't this be fun? And um, I talked about how, you know, my, my thing right now where what I'm doing is my joy for life and letting peace, like peace a long time ago, I decided instead of making like happiness my goal, because I'm, you know, I was like, oh, I was good at being happy, right? I was really good at being happy, especially like after my mother passed away when I was very young at 19. But deep down inside, I wasn't happy at all. I couldn't even, like, I didn't even know what that really was until I realized happiness comes, peace comes along with happiness. And when I have peace in my life, which I have right now, joy in my life, which I have right now, and I have to make active choices with it, happiness is just like, oh, yeah, we're here. And it's, and it's authentic now. And so, yeah, I am just kind of like, like I said the other day, I was like, if you don't want to be in a good mood, you don't want to know me. You don't want to hang out with me because we're going to be in a good mood. And I um, remember when I used to work um, in, at my corporate job um, for almost seven years that I left in December, I, you know, if I wasn't having the best day, it was almost like I gave myself permission to feel how I was feeling. Like, I'm not going to be, a, it's not going to be a farce anymore. And I would just kind of come in and sit at my desk and just kind of do my thing really quiet because I knew the effect of my energy on others. And so it was like, if I can't be like my best self today, and not that, that people expect that all the way from me, but I just want to be tender and considerate to other people, you know? So, and I wish more people can like thought that way. <laughs> You well, know, but they know. Yeah, but well, you're teaching. I think it's 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 confusing because I think a lot of people feel, you know, happiness or that peace or that joy is phony or it's not for them. Mm -hmm. But you know, everybody wants to feel better. I mean, I think that's why both of us love yoga. Yeah, you practice it, and then you do the you do the things of it, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's not. Of course, it's like unicorns and rainbows, but it's not like corny you know? yeah it's you really real yeah, yeah you really and feel better <laughs> so funny <laughs> it's like it, and and I love that and it's like um I have it I said today and I, I of course I was very much looking forward to this too and I was like oh my gosh I have so many questions I want to talk to her about like everything are we going to talk for like seven hours all day probably not because we'll have to eat at some point um <laughs> uh, but uh but I was like, you know, I wanted, I wanted to kind of find out, you know, what is, um, how, how's Strala Yoga um, and what part of Strala Yoga right now is bringing you the most joy? Oh, gosh, so much. I mean, I think I just, I have the benefit or maybe it's just how my mind works of thinking about it all the time. And as you're so great at doing yoga evolves with you over your whole life based on what you need. I think that's just, it's like a glass of water, you know, it always works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so for me, this moving in a way that's gentle with yourself, moving in a way that feels good, um, being that mode of when I'm doing it, when I'm leading others and having that kind of really be an all the time thing. You know, I even started just, in the class, I mean, I remember 
you probably feel the same way. I feel like we're like, you know, <laughs> so we're similar. a lot alike. We're so similar. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, at the end of class, you know, I, it's not over. So I thought, you know, okay, maybe I don't need to make a big deal about, okay, it's over, everybody go home. And I, and I love this idea of, you know, especially when you're in person, you, you choose who you go to talk to, everybody is kind of open there, it becomes, you're, you're continuing to lead the class based on where you put yourself and how you mm -hmm. connect other people together. And all of these things I just get so excited about. But this idea of how you get up, how you get down, you know, thinking about the next things you're doing, not jumping up to have it be over, not having your self care time be, you know, in that wall of, okay, now I'm doing yoga and now I'm stressed out and now I'm doing yoga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, when you're stressed out, okay, how can I be doing yoga now? And then maybe on the yoga, how can I maybe be having my yoga feel a little bit more like me in my life? So it's not this performance of now I'm doing this yoga, but I'm simply doing the best I can to access myself and be better. So when it's over, it's obviously continuing. So I love kind of, you know, exploring that and how I'm leading and also just exploring that in my own life and, and how, you know, chatting with you about this and other yoga teachers so we can do better. So it's not, yeah. you know, yoga is still this weird thing, even though more and more people do it, people are still like, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and, it, and, and I, and I'm still to this day, I'm just like, I still don't, I, I still can't wrap my head around why more people aren't doing it. But I'm like, I still don't understand. I'm like, why? I mean, because it's so like, it's so great. However, it was something that, you know, for me, I tried the first time I tried it, I was like, oh, yeah, no, this is this is so slow. I don't know what is happening right now. But I'm out. I'm done. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm like, in a heated yoga class in Chicago, every single day, crying my eyes out on the mat. I'm not even really sure what is happening. I'm like, why is it so hot in here? I love it so much. Why am I crying when I come into a pigeon pose? I don't care. Give me some more, you know, and just like, you know, having this like, you know, evolving from the background that I have of playing sports, doing all these fast paced, super physical like things where you, you, the, you have the tape in your head, for example, when running track, it is quick. But it's like, okay, you're playing this tape in your mind, you're preparing, you're planting these seeds and whatnot. And a lot of the times people, I think that the Allison Felixes of the world mm -hmm. and the LeBron James of the world, of course, know this, but people who are watching them aren't understanding that that is yoga. Like, yes, yes it's, they're running track. <laughs> yes, they're, Olymp they're winning Olympic medals, they're winning championships. But what they're doing up to that point is yoga it might not be them in a warrior two all the time but it is it's planting those seeds it's taking their time it's the breath it's the patience of it all right oh my gosh there's i remember years ago when usain bolt was winning everything and how such a cool oh my gosh there's a big eagle that just came on the porch it's so cool <laughs> that is so cool oh it's my so god cool. <laughs> that's amazing that's you somehow i mean i don't know there it is. There, there it <laughs> But, but when Usain Bolt was winning everything, and like you said, that those high performances is so yoga because there's no, there's no room for messing around. And he had so much energy after he crossed the finish line that he was able, I remember this one super famous photo where he was able to turn and then smile at all the cameras. And he's, you know, several yards in front of everybody, but, but he got to know himself and how he works and how he uses his energy and you know, that's what yoga teaches us, you know, how to use your energy in the middle of something easy so you can relax. So that's possible because sometimes it's hard to just relax even when you're just doing nothing. But also when, when things are challenging at every moment along the way, being able to only use the amount of energy that you need and drop every ounce of tension, of stress, of rigidity. That's why it's so beautiful to watch these athletes and we forget, oh, that, yes. that's really hard. <laughs> really <laughs> hard. Practicing in that, in that same way. And, you know, and I love hearing any of those high performers talk about their process because there's always these connections back to exactly what, what we're talking about with yoga. I mean, I can't run very fast, but I know how that feels like in that way. And I know you do too, so. Yeah. 
it's 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 so cool it's this whole thing our our career our profession our our life you know passion here it's just like I'm just I when I I was like this is this is awesome I said so wait and I'm like doing this and I get to do this and I get to literally be myself every single mm-hmm. day and like the work that I do and like helping people and on my joy mission and it's like this is just like this is rad this is this is I didn't even realize this was the seeds that I was planting when I was going through all the hurdles that I was going through all the all the things that you know were placed in front of me throughout my entire life and just not giving up and I think that is like you know kind of back to whole, the people thinking like things are cheesy or it's like maybe yoga's too woo some people still think yoga's way too woo but it's like really just trusting that not giving up and then just deciding that, yes, I'm going to do this no matter what. Like, I'm going to, you know, have things to, you know, if you're in a situation where it's like, yes, you can't like full time do your passion yet, right? Because it's not going to be, you know, sustainable for, you know, living, you know, purposes. But you still can do it. You still can have access to your art, to whatever you're practicing, whatever your passion is on the side of like having a nine to five job or whatever you're working, that's not really in line with what you're put here to do. I did that for most of my career. I was working a full-time job and teaching like five yoga classes a week. And then it got to the point where it was like, yeah, no, I can't do this anymore. And honestly, like before the pandemic happened, I was actually going to take like a little sabbatical from teaching altogether because I was like, I'm so, I'm so tired. And I'm sure you've been there too, where it's just like, oh, I'm exhausted, like, not not just like, physically, but mentally, I can't put anything together. And then the pandemic happened. And it was like, (laughs) Oh, my (laughs) gosh, and I can't imagine what a disservice that would have done to not only myself, but a lot of the community that I I get to serve right now, if I'd taken that sabbatical, Mm -hmm. if I'd stepped away, you know, and remembering the yoga of taking a few breaths, recognizing that maybe I do need to step back, but then also trusting the alignment of the universe as well. So yeah, is that kind of how you've like made, you know, what's, what's your, in, in so many words or whatever, so like whatever time can you say, like, what is your process? Because you've created so many things and had, and just so many magical experiences over your life. Like, what is your process of saying yes right now? Oh gosh, well, again, I think, you know, we have a lot in common in this way, but that first yoga class that I took, I, I got lucky and, and kind of a little bit after high school, I was in this dance conservatory and we had a yoga program there. My ballet teacher was an ABT and he did yoga in New York and, and, and brought it in. And this was, I know yoga is like thousands of years old, but like in the nineties, it still wasn't like as popular as it is now. It's not really that long ago, really. But so I remember that first experience was oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I remember this. It felt like I remembered it from somewhere like before, you know? (laughs) And then my second thought was, and I think this is the thought that gets you out of bed every day was, why doesn't everybody do this? (laughs) Yes, that's exactly. It was like, they need to know about this. They need to know about this, my friends and family, the people on the street. So from that moment, you know, I was ruined from doing anything else. I was doing, I never thought that this would be my job, at least back then, until it just started taking up more and more of my time and more and more of my time. And I think a lot of people have that experience where, okay, my time is now being filled more with these things and less with these things and more opportunities are going this way and it just kind of gradually happened. But for me, there was no examples of somebody doing this as a job. I just assumed that that instructor was some sort of a alien dropped down from some yoga spaceship and he just happened to be there that day. <laughs> you know, I'm so naive about it. <laughs> So I remember even going to different places. My my teacher gave me autobiography of a yogi and I read it and I went to the back. I like saved up a plane ticket for San Diego. I went there and there was just a bunch of, at least from my perspective, I was like 19 years old, you know, a bunch of people in their 40s, 50s and 60s kind of walking around like girl interrupted the movie. And I'm like, this is, I don't get it. I still don't get it. You know? <laughs> So I was just, you know, still looking, you know, how, where are the people, where are the people that can teach me this thing? So whatever. So I just, you know, years and years go by and training starts to happen. I do the trainings. Okay. You can do this. And 
I can share this, but then I, I always was thinking, okay, it's still just in this room. It's this 90 minutes and it's so serious and everybody's almost worried about it. Why are we worried about it? <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> what are we so worried about? Right. So, you know, then I just started, I mean, crazy things like before Facebook, I remember typing up this, everybody should do yoga, like one page manifesto, like Jerry Maguire, you know, and I printed up like 30 copies at Kinko's and like scotch tape them all over Soho and then just kind of stood back and people were like, oh yeah, like that would be good if I could do yoga, yoga could be for me and I could feel better and all of these things. And I think from there, you know, it just feels like I'm getting whacked on the head at all times. And that's just propelling me to, to do these things. So it just makes it really clear, at least from my experience, what to do, what not to do, when to do it, when not to do it, you know, it really, I still have that same feeling of, you know, everybody wants to feel better. And this is such a great way to do it. Um, but, but so many people don't know about it or tried it and had a bad experience. Yeah. Or just the rigidity of life is, becomes the rigidity of yoga. It's not that yoga is always bad. It's that life gets a little tense too. So, yeah. you know, there's so much work for us to do to, to share this and it can be fun and joyful and easy. So I think that's, that's that kind of, you know, how I choose what to do or, or how to try to drum something up or whatever like that. It just becomes really easy in a way. I, oh, I love that story about you like <laughs> typing up, going like Kinko's, you're just like, got your scotch tape, you're ready to change the world. Listen, <laughs> one telephone pole at a time, my friend. We are going to get these people in yoga, whether they like it or not, come to class. And so that's why I have, I have a friend who every time I'm getting ready to go teach, he doesn't do yoga. I'm like, should I save you a spot in class today? And he's like, not today. And I was like, <laughs> and every time after class, I'm like, we missed you in class. He goes, I think I'm going to fail this semester. <laughs> but I'm not going to let up. I'm not going to let up. Like every day, I'm, every day I ask him, every day I invite him, every day I'm doing something. I'm like, because I want everybody to come. I want everybody to be on my joy train with me. I want everybody to feel like you just said, feel good because feeling good is awesome. Feeling good is the best. Feeling good is something that once you have it and once you have it on a consistent basis and once you normalize feeling good rather than normalizing the latter, whatever that is, you, there's no going back. And so I'm on this mission, which I think like you, like you were saying to like, you know what, like, mm, is this, is this going to make me feel good? Okay. Yeah. I feel good at making this decision. Okay. But two, is this going to make other people feel good as well? Because again, that is my mission. Um, and then it's like, okay, either like my thing now is full body yes or no. Um, and I remember uh, we Elizabeth Gilbert was on our podcast and she said she had a teacher who taught her no and I love you. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, and you can you can say no and I love you if it's like that sort of relationship or. No, but thank you for considering me. Um, just so we can stay with our fuel being fed, our cup being overflown, our saucer overflowing, right? And I say all these things and I feel like sometimes I'm like a broken record about it, but it's always that one person or that two people you meet in a yoga class or on the street or at Trader Joe's or that like, you know, I was just telling this guy at the gas station about a hike and a place to hike him and his dog. He was like feeding his, giving his dog water out of the water bottle. It was really cute. It was a really beautiful <laughs> moment. And even like in having those moments of like, you know, noticing all of those beautiful moments, it was just kind of like, I want everybody to feel good. And so when you, when we are vibrating at this like high frequency, like even when we have hard days, right? Because it's not like we're not human and b b being able to, you know, roll with it a lot easier, like ride the wave as it comes. And then it's like, ah, okay, still waters again. Okay, cool. You know, so, so very cool. Well, what you working on right now, friend, anything that you can share or tell us about? That's sure. newer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All the projects and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I just did, I, I got to know this nail care brand last summer. Um, this gal, Amy, who started this, this brand called Sundays and it's non-toxic nail polish. And I remember for years, just like 
like I felt weird about going to get my nails done. Like I'm just gonna stop because it's toxic. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I go there, and I think a lot like you. You talk to everybody wherever you go. So yeah. I would talk to people, and it, you know, the people that are working in a lot of these places, you know, it's it's a not not a good working environment for them. So I don't know if going there and like giving them a lot of money is really even going to help them feel better. So you know, I just felt weird about it. And then I met Amy, and uh, and she started this brand. And it's non toxic, and she likes yoga. So we're just, you know, of course, it's going to lead to something. <laughs> of course, it, it of is course, because, you know? of course, it always does. It always does lead to something. That's really cool, Tara. That's really cool. Yeah. So, so it led to something. And I, I said, you know, it'd be really cool, you know, how you go and you say, you know, you, you choose your color or whatever. And it's so simple. And, you know, her, her spirit is, you know, you would love her too. I mean, she's just incredible. And she, she, treats everybody really great that work for her and it's just it's just this amazing like her ideas i'm like okay you're somebody i like to talk to a lot so i said what about if you make your colors um about how you want to feel <laughs> oh my god so we made like a color called ease and one called creativity and one called inspire so i think she might change some of the other colors as well and and then i said you know i'm good i i don't need to i know collaborations sometimes you make money sometimes you know all these things a lot of people don't know this stuff but for me it doesn't cost me any money to to share my ideas with her I don't need to go and like create the nail polish and yeah story. so I said okay I want to give all all of my little part back to you and and then you can essentially buy product to give away to dress for success to support all the women who wear this and then they can have a little note with ease and creativity so it's kind of Oh you know, God. I'm thinking about a new way, maybe for people like us who do partnerships where, you know, sometimes it, you want to make a bunch of money from a big brand and say, thank you. And now I can go and do these five things. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's a different kind of a thing. So, you know, we kind of came up with this idea of, of, of giving back, not just the money, but giving back to her and then her giving back to a new foundation and having it be kind of a, a good thing for everybody. So that's something you know, just been working on as well. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Talk about keeping the ecosystem thriving. I mean, that's what it's about. <laughs> Fam family and friends, are y'all hearing this? Are y'all listening to this right now? Keeping the ecosystem thriving. Yes, we have to make money because we have to be able to afford our lives. However, the money will come when the alignment is there. The money will come when the alignment is there. The money will come. The money will come if you stay, you know, faithful and present and operating in integrity. Like I have been over the last like, you know, few weeks, probably few months, just like battling with like, you know, the fact of like up against people who is like, you're not operating in integrity. And this is very interesting because at least in corporate America, where I was, people would operate, you knew, you knew, you knew what it was, right? You knew that you knew the bottom line of the company and everybody fell in line more or less to administer or that to adhere rather to the bottom line, right? So that's, but when you're in these bus the businesses of what we do, heart people, helping people, it's a little like, whoa, okay. So there are really people out here that are not operating in integrity. And I love that we like and a lot of people like jennifer pasiloff like you know a lot of people are still there's a lot of really great humans out there in the world and some of them have a platform some of them don't have a platform but the fact that we get to use ours in whatever way to further their mission their ecosystem and their bottom line which is like helping people feel better by beauty of the nails helping people feel better. Dressing, Dressing for Success is an amazing organization. I've given stuff to them for years. And I'm just like, you know, the company that I used to work for, we've done a ton of work for them as well. And just keeping that cycle going. That's again, bringing it all back to <laughs> yoga. That is keeping it all, bringing it all home, right? Which we don't even, which you didn't even, you probably wouldn't even realize unless you were in, unless you were in yoga, of yoga, teaching yoga, right? That it's everywhere. So people don't think they're doing it. You're doing it every single day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love, I love the reality and you're such a good example of this. I mean, we lead the example of how we feel about ourselves. So it really makes self-care the job. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh -huh. the job. So, 
you know, I mean, we have our yoga classes every day on the Strala Yoga app, but I wouldn't feel good about just, I mean, we have like, you know, like DVDs and like videos from 15 years all there. And, you know, I know the formula, you can just put up a video a week and have it there. But for me, I, I want to be there with people. So I do a class every day for myself, <laughs> you know, Amazing. people come and they feel like it's this great, you know, value and everything. But honestly, it makes me feel like I'm showing up for whoever needs it that day. And, and, you know, like you said, it's such a, it's such a healthier way to think about everything, whether it's, you know, a lot of people think, oh, you can't, um, you know, uh, make a living that way, or maybe you just had a trust fund. Like I didn't have, I have, I had nothing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I was afraid of it too. That's why it took me so long to step out. Cause I was like, I, how am I going to afford my life? You know, but yeah. Yeah. It, it does, you know, I, I think it's oversimplifying for especially me to say like it does work, just works out. But, you know, when you have that consistency and, and like you say so well, when you're doing it because you, you feel that whole body, yes. You know, for me, I was, when I was doing a bunch of other jobs and yoga, I wasn't upset about it. I, I didn't even have a goal to like just do yoga full time, but it just started to happen because it was it was the right thing for me, the right fit. It started to take up more and more of my time and I was just being pulled that way. But I think probably, you know, if, if I was meant to do other things and this and that, which I kind of am already too doing, you know, we all kind of have all of our little interests and things that we do. You know, I think when you really accept yourself, um, you don't have to feel like everything's crap now. When I get here, things will be better, you know, but obviously a lot of luck and things like that come into play. But, but when you really just, you know, do the things that you're interested in doing and, and enjoy that, then you have more energy too to, to go to the job that, you know, isn't your passion. You yeah. Know, or, yeah. Or yeah. Exactly. And that's what, and that's what happened to me. I had to decide like, okay, so I'm going to start in these board meetings that I'm leading in these conferences that are, you know, like meetings, these presentations that I have, I'm like, okay, taking what I would use to guide a yoga class and taking that same energy there, because I was like, the worlds are going to mesh eventually, your worlds will mesh eventually. And yes, there's luck, but it's also like designed. And it's also like, we can, we can, like I said, normalize success being designed, normalize the path, like you mentioned at the top of our chat, getting to be easy, normalize things in life working out in your favor, you know, and having that be like, and I know sometimes that's hard to do. I know. And it, again, I listen, I have my days as well, but I go right back to right back to what called me into it right away. Go back to what got me here was I like to feel good. And I wanted other people in my community to feel good too. I wanted to be able to, you know, my mom wasn't around when I started this journey, but had she been around um, introducing her to this, but, you know, having my aunt um, come to my yoga classes and whatnot and really like, you know, have this no have this lease on life from a perspective that wasn't talked about in my family, you know, like we didn't, there was no yoga, there was no meditation. We went to church, what felt like every day, but it was really like twice a week or three times a week. I don't know. I felt like we were always in church, but it was like, um, you know, but you know what, like that's, and, and, and that's okay too, but really have being able to step into your own, like, power and step into like it not just being this like one way of doing things you've done such a fantastic job of doing that Tara and I just want to thank you so much for always leading with integrity and always having other people like what the goal of people to feel good like even your most recent post about alignment and not getting obsessed with alignment because the shape needs to look a certain way you're like okay alignment to what they feel in their body what feels good in your body? Okay, does that feel good there? I mean, there's a safe way of doing things, right? But that was such a permission slip that I think all teachers, yoga teachers, movement teachers, all everyone should go back and watch that video and, and, and read your caption. And if you're not already following Tara, follow her because she's a real deal and you're the truth. And um, before, you know, and I, and I really... And I don't say this lightly because I'm, you know, a lot of people 
are just out here going through the motions and like not really bringing other people along. And I feel like you don't, you have just been bringing people along since. And I love this story about being in Soho with your scotch tape and your paper that you printed at Kinko's and was like, we're going to yoga. Or we're standing here at this light. Oh, me and this trash and maybe a couple like, you know, other, and so other um, interesting characters. We're going to just breathe here for 30 seconds while we wait for the light. So Thank you so much for all that you do. Truly, truly, truly. Oh my gosh. Well, well, same for you. I mean, it's, I think for everybody that follows you, they're so reminded to, to go after themselves, to find themselves. And a lot of these things, especially even with yoga, I think a lot of the people that are nervous about yoga, it almost becomes, well, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? And like you said, of course, there's, you know, you don't want to fall on your head. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you're, in general, if you're taking care of yourself, you know, you're gonna be able to follow along with the guidance of a teacher and, and know what to do. If you're taking care of yourself, it's the moment when we question ourselves, the moment when we think, oh, I'm not gonna be good enough unless I stretch like that person I just saw or unless I force myself to make this happen. And, and really that has a lot to do with yoga, but it has everything to do with how we are all the time. So mm -hmm. it's really, you know, I think such an opportunity to, Yoga is just this rectangle where we get to practice, at least for me, pointing myself toward how I want to be, not how I don't want to be. <laughs> right, know? right. I like, want to go okay, forward. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can organize it. Right, right. It's like, I want to be pointing forward. I want to go to my true north, you know, like I want to mm -hmm. be going forward always and also being able to be present in here and now. So, um, Oh, I just could talk to you forever, but I've had you on here long <laughs> enough, my friend. You are welcome to come back anytime oh, oh, you want to. Yeah, anytime you want to chat. And um, thank you so much for taking time today and um, being a teacher's teacher, um, not just like in the studio, on the mat, but just like in life. So love you so much. Thank love you so you much. It's great <laughs> to see you. And thank you for all you're doing and spreading the joy. And this is the highlight of my day for sure. So thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Alrighty, friends. I'm going to be back here on Friday, actually, talking to Rosie Acosta. So um, come back and join us. And I've got some other super fun people that I'm talking talking to throughout the month as well. So, and like I said, if y'all know anybody that is bringing you joy, even Tara, if you know someone, you're like, they're bringing me a lot of joy right now. And I think that they should, if I don't know them, introduce me, I would love to get to know them because I'm all about spreading more joy, more love and uh, more light in the world. So oh, I have a list for you. <laughs> amazing. I, I knew that. I knew I was asking the right person. I knew I was asking the right person. All right, my dear. Well, you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye, everyone. Stay brave in your pursuit of joy. I love you. <laughs>